Hey friend, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO. And earlier you spoke with my partner, Jeff, and requested this free video. So today what we're going to do is we're going to give you a couple tips that you can start applying right away. And it's really going to help with your online presence as well as helping you generate more organic leads so you don't have to rely on paid services like Angie's or Home Advisor. All right. So when I search your business name, your Google My Business popped up. So that's good. I'm glad you have one. Um, you're definitely going to want to get this optimized so that you can get in the top three of the maps. That's going to be pretty critical. Um, as you can see, you are listed on Angie's. Um, Yelp, I did see your Facebook. So you do have some listings. That is good. Um, unfortunately, the old way of doing things, the old marketing tactics, or just relying on um, referrals just is not enough to sustain business anymore. Um, everything has gone digital, and you really need to have a strong digital footprint, okay? Um, so... If we look here, um, looking at concrete contractors in Colorado Springs, these are the top three in the maps. And so your goal would be to optimize your page to get into this top three for your keywords and service area because 30% of people search in the maps and don't search anywhere else. So if you're not listed in this top three, you're leaving money on the table and sending those leads to your competitors. You're basically paying your competitors to take your customers from you. Okay. So in order to get in the top three, there are several factors. Part of it has to do with a website and how it's performing. Um, but one of the biggest factors is citations and that's simply the name of a business address, phone number, and website and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages and Glassdoor but you have to have a lot more than your top competitors. Now, the other part of this equation is your website. A website generates nearly 70% of your organic leads. These are organics. And so you wanna be able to capture the Google, my business and the organics. This way you can be on the top and no matter where the customer is searching, they're gonna find you. But 70% of people go here. And this is where you need to be. So um, this is the competitor we're going to look at here. Flat and fancy. Um, they have an okay website. Not fabulous. But Google doesn't rank based on appearance. Google ranks based on content. Um, they do have separate pages for their major services. This is really, really important. You have to have a separate page. That way you can build your content around each of these individual services and focus on the local keywords specific to those services. So when somebody puts a search in Google, they can actually find you. So this is really, really important. All the pages on a website you build have to have original content. You cannot duplicate anything. And you also don't want to go after the same keyword on multiple pages because Google will penalize you for that. Um, your homepage should be a little summary of each of your services, but focused on local keywords. As you can see here, there's no local keywords right here. And so they're kind of missing the boat on this. Um, but they do have a local keyword here, Colorado Springs Concrete Contractor. Um, so you have to focus all of your content on your website based on those local buyer intent keywords, the keywords people are actively searching in Google for your services. So that's really, really important to build your website around that. And you're going to need a lot of content because content is key and Google likes about 1500 words or more. That's 250 words for every keyword you want to target. And you're always going to need more than whatever your competitors are doing. So these guys have some content and you're going to have to have more than they do. And then if you're servicing multiple areas, you also should consider having service area pages. That way you can be found organically for your services in each of the communities that you service. And then you're going to have to support your website with SEO because without search engine optimization, you're still not going to be found online. 
And the two together is what's going to bring you those 70% of leads. So if we look here, these guys have a rating of a 4.7 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which isn't real great. It means Google still does not have a whole lot of trust yet in their website. That's 100% based on their backlinks and referring domains. A referring domain is simply just any website that will provide a link from their website to your website, where the backlink is the physical link coming from another website to your site. And the whole purpose is to drive traffic and help you to rank for those keywords, okay? Um, so Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. And while you do need a lot of these, not all backlinks are good backlinks. Not everyone is created equal. and They don't all work with every type of industry or service. So you have to stick to the authoritative, do follow links that are directly related to your services. So if we look here, they only have 43 that are do follows. So they only have 43 good backlinks. Everything else Google looks at as spam. Um, but they've been indexed for over 200 keywords and they are getting 288 people on average to their website. So they're still missing out on a ton of traffic. Um, but if we look at their keywords, they do have some pretty great keywords and they are starting to um, increase their position on page one. So they are getting some decent traffic. But look at this volume. There's a ton of volume here that you're missing out on by not having a website. So you're missing out on tons of customers. So now um, if you follow these tips that I have provided you today, um, and build your website and optimize it, just as I've shown you, your website has the potential to be number one in Colorado Springs and your other service areas for each of your services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and I would really love to get your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.